Hello, this is Koi Kitsune here reviewing Dialect with Aqualong. This game is a first person shooter with strategic elements. This game is very similar to the Space Hulk games where you have to control over 5 squad members who have different job traits that you must use strategically to beat every level you will play through. The author of this game, Eric Hogan, created this game with a dark, sort of scary atmosphere in space, which works out very well. So let's begin this review. Your objective is to get all five members of your squad to the room preceding the door to the next level, or at least to get all the members that are still alive, as you may lose some along the way at the hands of the monsters that lurk throughout the ship. You can toggle between each member with the numerical key that represents them, or pressing the space bar to cycle through them. You'll travel one at a time, or have another member controlled by the computer cover you. The classes in this game are important, and each class has different actions, weapons, and abilities they can perform. The first is your communications officer. He is the only one on the team who can see monsters on the minimap. Heavy weapons guy who has a Gatling gun. He is useful when you want him to hold down the locations while enemies keep respawning to give you more time to get your team through. The demolitions guy has a built-in grenade launcher. He has the ability to clear obstructions like vending machines or anything in particular that will block your path and prevent you from proceeding. The engineer is important to the team as well as he can fix broken doors and hack into terminals to help the team get past broken crap in the level. Very important to the team. Last but not least is the medic. He can heal everybody and will heal himself over time by himself. He is also the only team member that can travel through steam which will hurt any other teammate normally. Losing members can really throw a monkey wrench into advancing to the next level. For example, there's a broken door between you and the targeted room to advance. Well, if your engineer is dead, then you're shit out of luck. If you're stuck, you can pause the game and restart the level at any time, respawning all five members. If you play solo mode, you'll basically inherit the characteristics of each class all rolled into one. You only get one life, but you get all the abilities. It really simplifies the game. If you want the strategy element to play a bigger role, then go with tactical mode. The graphics are very good and for one good reason. The game is powered off of the Blitz basic engine. The 3D models are custom as well as the levels themselves. Although the Blitz basic engine is utilized very easily where a small piece of code can pretty much run off an entire event which gives game creators more freedom to create their games and consume less of their time writing large scripts. So in turn, the graphics on this game are very impressive for a game that is just free to play. The rooms are dark, giving the player a gloomy type feeling. The gun models looks great, and the monsters look scary as hell even though they are recycled from Eric's other first person shooter, Firestart, which I already reviewed already. Also, there are other monsters that you fight as well to keep you on your toes. The atmosphere is very strong, as I stated before. It's not easy making a space theme seem so dark, unless you count Doom 3 as one of those games. So pretty much, the atmosphere is very good and will make you feel as though you're on a spaceship with a whole crap load of monsters trying to kill you and your teammates. The music reflects the dark visuals and feel of the game greatly. While the first level has a haunting piano tune, most of the time the soundtrack isn't so melodic. It's mostly gloomy atmospherics with some elements of electronics to add some sci-fi flavor in there. All of this really adds to the suspense, which is a huge part of Derelict. The game isn't overrun with monsters, so you'll be keeping your head on a swivel for when they do show up. Sometimes you'll hear them growling from the next room, which can also give you an injection of suspense. The map can really help you out with spotting the monsters, as long as you're playing as the communications officer or the solo mode. The map obviously is also a good means of navigation, as there are icons that indicate locked, open, or broken doors, security terminals, and the destination of each level. Each character has different weapons, although the communications officer, demolition guy, and the medic all have the machine gun. It has a decent rapid rate and average power. It's your standard weapon. The demolition guy also has the grenade launcher on top of the machine gun, which you can use by right clicking. Firing your regular weapon is done by left clicking. The grenades are powerful, and like Koi said earlier, they're used to clear shit out of the way, but you have to be careful because the explosion from the grenade can hurt you if you're too close. 
The engineer has the shotgun, which is more powerful than the machine gun, but fires at slower intervals. Finally, the weapons guy has the Gatling gun, which rips shit up. Not only that, but you also don't have to reload it. With the machine gun and the shotgun, you'll have to stop to reload after running out of ammo. You'll never run out completely, but you don't want to get caught reloading while being attacked. Derelict may not break a ton of ground, but it also isn't a carbon copy of every other first person shooter that comes and goes. The strategy and suspense level that's thrown into the mix give it some balance that a lot of shooters lack. One complaint I have is that there's not a real wide variety of enemies. The monsters are all the same with the exception of the bosses. But this can be overlooked when you look at the price tag. It's free to download. So hell yeah, this game is worth the price. And considering that this is a freeware game, you really have to applaud the effort that was put into it and the quality of the product. This game is worth your time, in my opinion. It's a fun little game where it puts your mind at work and your eye down the sights of your weapon. If you truly enjoy first person shooters but also enjoy a strategy as well, this is the game for you. Most definitely, get this game. You won't be disappointed.